Hey, Terry Caliendo from Dedicated Managers here again, and I wanted to show something um, about um, scroll up, slide up, slide down transitions. Um, I, I've got these slide ups happening on, on these lists here, and I wanted to do the same thing over here, but this is not a list. Um, this is a form, and if I try and put this form in a list component, it loses its, um, its styling. So I needed to find another way to get that transition where, where this part slides up before it disappears. Uh, the other way I was trying to do it was with the, the Y transition, but I don't like the way this one looks. This one's more for when pages come into view. Uh, when I click on this one, uh, notice it's not quite as smooth of a transition. This thing kind of scoots up and fades away, and then, then the bottom part jumps up. Um, and it's not, it's not the same transition. So since these are next to each other, I don't want to have different transitions. Um, I want I want this one to when I click on it to slide up the same way the others would because there's going to be another form below it. So um, I started looking into this is where I started my first attempt, um, and I'll put links to these code pens in the description. So this has the transition I want, and notice here's the form. So let's take the form. Um, I'll take the form. And I'll just try putting it, you know, I'll just try putting it somewhere. I mean, let's try, it's got to be underneath the group because the group is what causes the slide up. Um, here's my toolbar that's controlling it. Let's try putting it below the toolbar. So you see it works, but it loses all its formatting and it, it, it doesn't work right because it's all been shrunk down. Um, so it's not made for a form to work within each of these list items uh, or within the group. I can try and put it, you know, if I go back, I can try and put it um, in one of the, you know, list tiled contents, but these are made to be real short. So it ends up getting mostly cut off. So that's just not the route to go. Um, what I did end up finding were expansion panels. Um, and I'm just using a single expansion panel. So rather than, than doing all the rest of them, I'm just using a single expansion, expansion panel, and that does what I want. And then also I'm doing a little bit of extra magic to make it be controlled by a toolbar instead of um, by the header. Where was that there? Sorry. So um, in the regular expansion panel, this, this toolbar, this here is not a toolbar. It is the um, the slot that that does controls the header. But if I try and put a toolbar in there, let me copy a toolbar from over here. Uh, where's the toolbar? Let's try copying the toolbar. One more line. So if instead of the header, I try and put a toolbar with Slot equals activator. See if that works or if that just gets me in trouble. Um, let me take a pause here and troubleshoot this. All right, I'm back here. Here's what the problem was: is that um, the you know the visible when I copied it from the other code, I copied a variable that wasn't defined here. So I'm just going to get rid of that variable, and that should solve the problem. I hope. Nope, we're going to pause again and troubleshoot again, I guess. Um, be right back. All right, I'm just going to try and start over here. I'm going to go back to the expand, to the beautify. I click to open the, the, the a new code pen. And now instead of this header, this slot header, I'm going to type in my slot header. And that should work. So... You can see that it, it doesn't work right. It doesn't quite show up right, so I can't put a toolbar in there. And if I could, it would. It, um, in other places, it still looks goofy. So <clears throat> obviously, that wasn't the answer. But what I ended up finding was um, what I've ended up finding out was that if I take the toolbar and I take it outside of the expansion panel, 
And then, um, you know, obviously the, I control it with the click. So that's this and a little CSS to make the mouse become a, um, a pointer. That's what this is right here. This V toolbar makes the mouse a pointer when it's, when it's hovered over anything. But clicking on anywhere in the toolbar is going to cause that to shrink up and down. Um, so I'm controlling the toolbar, or the toolbar is controlling with the click the visible variable, which just toggles it. Um, and then the expansion panel content um, is controlled by this visible, that same variable. So it's, this changes it, and this makes the value whether or not it's visible, and that determines whether or not this is visible. So when it's turned off, it slides up, and when it's turned on or true, it slides down. And then the header, um, I'm just hiding with CSS so that it doesn't show up. Uh, and then that allows me to control the, the sliding area with the toolbar. So now I can get that look that I'm looking for like I've got here, but this is using a VList group that I can't put my form inside. But um, this one, obviously, I've got a form inside the, here's my form. It's inside a card, which just makes it, gives it some spacing. Um, and then it's inside that expansion panel. So I just have a single expansion panel content and I have its value, um, its visible value equal to that visible that I'm controlling. So anyway, that's a, a, a little find that I found that, that the, you know, um, I couldn't find a component that just has a, you know, something that controls a slide up of another area. And it turns out that just this is a good place to do it just with only, you know, only one item instead of, um, well, they loop over, they loop over the same expansion panel, but you could put five expansion panels. So you just take this out and then you've got one. So if I go to their, um, you know, their code and I take out this V4, I now have the code for a single, um, a single item. And then I can do what I did before where I add my um, toolbar at the top here and then control the uh, visibility um, of the expansion panel. So that's what's happening here. The expansion panel I'm controlling the visibility of uh, and um, by the click of the toolbar. So Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. Hope that was helpful. Again, long-winded, but maybe it helps explain everything if I go over it seven times. I don't know. It's 8 o'clock on a Sunday night. Um, I'm going to call it quits. Hope you have a great weekend, or whenever you're watching this, hope you have a great day or evening. Feel free to shoot some comments. Follow me, uh, whatever they call it on uh, YouTube. Uh, subscribe, I think they say, as the kids say. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free to send me a message. Let me know if you want to help on this project at all or anything. Take care. Have a great day.